Okay, welcome back to Cool Clubs Reviews. Today, we are gonna take a look at the T100. Mark, jump in, let's have a look. Yeah, this is uh, kind of in, in Titleist's wheelhouse, right? I probably played Titleist Irons probably over the last 30 years more than anything. DCIs were a big club back then. Um, but this is their T100, um, you know, kind of traditional shape. Looks relatively square, um, square toe. A super thin top line. Uh, they actually beveled the back, uh, which I've talked about a couple times, where they actually just uh, channel this back piece on, a, on like a 45 to make it look even thinner. So it looks as thin as any blade out there, right? So well, I it's good golf club. I went from the MB blade right. to the 100. I went to the S version, but essentially right. it's the right. same it's shape. It's the same basic club, and yeah. It, just, it looks like my MB from the top Oh, yeah, it looks like blade. a blade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. uh, you know, it does really well. This is uh, in the wheelhouse. I mean, this is a, a good club for tour players or, or high handicaps, you know, mid handicaps anyway, so... Just a really good club all around. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what it does because we got both tests on this. Where it's in the players category, right. we've got the game improvement and we've got the, the tour test. Tour test, yeah. This is definitely a club that tour players can play as well. Um, so if you look at uh, kind of the overall rating of 4.2, that's mostly because of distance, obviously. Um, you know, it's not a real long golf club. The S would score higher in that uh, in that department just with exactly the same kind of layouts. Obviously, the dispersion go up a little bit, but the distance would be higher. Um, you know, the... Uh, Yardage, 151 yards. It's kind of in the middle. It's a little longer than most of the blades, but not by a bunch. Like, again, the S version would be a longer version of that. Yeah. Um, the tour rating of 4.6, and actually it was really close to 4.7. I mean, it's a really good golf club. Yeah. I mean, you miss it off center, just, you know, a quarter inch one way or another. That's a quarter inch test. And, you know, they pretty much all land the same thing. And if you look at the graphs, too, you can see they're they're pretty linear. I mean, they're pretty good right to, right to left. They're pretty much straight. You know, you miss it on the toe and the heel. A little bit one way or another, and they still go straight. So that's good. With that tour test, all, all of all of the shots are hitting the green there with a little miss here. And what I love about it, and this is really what I was going for, like I, I wanted to get away from a blade and I wanted to get back into something with a bit more forgiveness. Right. But it's still that spin. You know, it's, it hasn't got the heaters off the face, no, which you can see there. All. And that spin launch at 290, that's nearly at our peak of kind of 300. Yeah, that's pretty close to what the blades do. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so this is really good. 34 degree in, in the 7 iron here. Right. And that's why that stopping power, it's, it's funny that stopping power number isn't really, really high. We've seen higher than that. Yeah, uh, it doesn't spin a tremendous amount. 290 is really yeah, high. Yeah, so yeah. it might just be landing or, or something just, just kind of soft. Probably land out. angle a little bit. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But so this, this, is, this is the club. That if you're ready to transition, you know, from a blade into a cavity, right. it's a really good one. It's a really good one. Or yeah. if you're you kind of like in that position where you're ready to move down into something out of maybe a game improvement iron and you're not ready for blades, you, this is a good spot to hit in. It's still a pretty easy club to hit. Yeah, yeah. so it's all around. It's pretty good. Awesome. Great stuff. Yeah, this is kind of, you know, I'd probably look at this for, you know, honestly, this is a big range. I mean, there's tour players playing this club, you know, yeah. plus eight handicaps. But, you know, 15 handicap of a decent ball striker, you know, could also play this. So yeah. it's a pretty good all-around club. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a quarter of an inch, a half inch off, off center, and they're still hitting the oh, green yeah. other yeah. than low heel. Yeah. So it's yeah. a good club. Awesome. Right. Cool. Thanks, Mark.